Hello everybody, this is Gretchen here, reporting to you live on July 22nd of 2010. It is well past 11 o'clock on a Thursday night, and well, what can I say? I had yesterday off, had today off, shoot, I got tomorrow off, but I couldn't find any of you fools to play with me tonight. So here I am doing another friendly public service announcement, but I'm not here to lecture you on the, the woes or the beware ofs the bank which I live in. I'm here to uh, do a little friendly public service announcement about the wonderful values of that great vegetable we all know and love, zucchini. This is a normal, average size zucchini, approximately the same height as my head. This is if you pick it promptly every day. And you'll get one or two of these every day if you pick them at this size. Now, if you let them wait too long on the vine, they just keep growing. This is the monster zucchini. A zucchini no family of four could eat in one night and still love themselves. Yes, this is the extra large zucchini. But do they get bigger? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But I haven't let them yet this year. So zucchini. Let's talk about zucchini. Uh, we've eaten it every night this week. And frankly, I'm sick of it. So I thought I might, I don't know, aside from give it away for free, which I am doing. If you want some zucchini, come on down. 105 Devereux Circle, so po, in Red Bank Village. Can't miss us. We're the ones with the pretty garden. So come on by and get yourself some free zucchini. But in the meantime, let me tell you about the nutritional benefits of zucchini. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read a list now of of 14 different little thingies that I, I'd like to share with you. First one being that, I don't know if you know this, but zucchini helps cure asthma as it contains vitamin C, which is a powerful antioxidant and has anti-inflammatory properties. Now I know I said I had 14 different ones here, but almost every single one mentions the fact that zucchini has vitamin C. So maybe this is really just a public service announcement about vitamin C. Wait, no. Scratch that, I'm derailed. It's all about the zucchini. The vegetable is known to help prevent diseases like scurvy and bruising caused by the deficiency of vitamin C. Regular intake of zucchini effectively lowers high homocysteine levels in the human body. Sorry for those of you who know what that word was supposed to be, and I failed to pronounce it correctly. The vegetable can help prevent the risk of multiple sclerosis. Well, good to know. Zucchinis have high water content, over 95%. High nutrients values and contains a very low amount of calories, so they make the perfect snack item for those on a diet. Who diets, please? The vegetable contains useful amounts of folate, potassium, and vitamin A, necessary for proper functioning of the human body. Zucchini contains vitamin C. Did I mention that? And lutein, which is both of which are known to be good for the eyes. The vegetable is a good source of vitamin B6 riboflavin, magnesium, and lots of other nutrients. Eating zucchini is known to help the body in supporting the arrangement of capillaries. Regular consumption of zucchini can help protect the body against colon cancer. Zucchini is believed to be beneficial in preventing heart disease and related symptoms such as high cholesterol. The rind of zucchini contains the nutrient beta-carotene which is known to be full of antioxidant properties and thus helps protect cells against oxidation damage. The vegetable proves to be a good source of magnesium phosphorus and nutrients essential for building and maintaining healthy bones. Zucchini is rich in vitamin C. Did I mention that? 
and other powerful antioxidants that can provide against that can provide protection against cardiovascular disease. Well, I think the least we can say is that zucchinis are high in vitamin C and can help prevent against colon cancer or good for your eyes and might keep you from getting MS. Did I mention it's delicious? I didn't. I didn't. Thanks everyone for tuning in to another Gretchen YouTube special and I hope you like zucchini. I hope you eat a lot of it. On a brighter note, I also am growing cucumbers, which I actually like and taste really good with mayonnaise and salt and pepper between two pieces of bread. Mmm, mmm, a cucumber sandwich. Anyway, that's all for now. Oh, I went over the six minute mark. Have a good one, folks. Peace and love. Make sure you get plenty of vitamin C. Scurvy's a bitch.